What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a top 11 video. I did some videos on top 11 on my main channel like a long, long time ago. I did some YouTube stuff uh, where I changed all the names in the team to some YouTuber names and um, basically had some fun with the game. And then a tweet came through from Nick2080 the other day. He said that he, was, he randomly watched uh, one of Spencer's and my top 11 videos and he started playing it. And I honestly haven't played it for like a couple months. So I came back and had a look at it and they've made like quite a considerable number of updates. Now you can you do it on your iPhone or your iPad. Um, this isn't a sponsored video. I like I'm just playing this for fun. Like I'm, I'm not, you know, we've done some sponsored stuff on the channel, but this is just me come back to the, the app. And um, I actually uh, right now I'm playing it on the browser. And the reason why I played it on the browser before a lot is because I typically have my browser open all the time. But also in the training regime, you used to be able to select where, like basically like your players would train and then you could it, like put, like let's say a, pl a player gained three points, you could put those points wherever you wanted. So you could like really start focusing people's stuff, but it's changed a little bit now and you can still focus it, but you focus it through the training methods. I'm still getting to grips with a little bit of what, the, what has changed. But as you can see, I've got like a whole bunch of stuff in my club, uh, 531 rests. Uh, 180 morale boosts and 379 treatments and I got a lot of that stuff from what I've done in the club um, I'll run through everything from uh, from bottom to top and I've got like almost 1.5k tokens some of the tokens were given to me from uh, from top 11 when I did a video uh, way back when um, a lot of them I've earned just through playing the game unlocking things and uh, I, I did actually used to sit there and watch like a whole bunch of the videos because the way the training used to work is you could basically like if, if you had infinite tokens you could infinite train you know um, but that's obviously changed a bit now now to show you guys the stadium let's get into the stadium so the parking lot I do believe is full right now um, it was uh, oh no I can upgrade this as well so we have upgraded the parking lot a little bit the medical center uh, we can upgrade as well five new treatments available in three days so every three days I think it's actually every five days um, I get five new treatments so if you upgraded that I'm sure you just get it quick like quicker uh, in order to unlock please upgrade all other facilities to level eight so i haven't got everything at level eight just yet the training ground um six new rests available in two days and it looks like it's been there for like four days so that also seems like you know six rests every six days uh i don't know if i can upgrade this yet no i have to get everything to level nine to upgrade this um and then the youth system i think we get two new players yet yeah, so two new young players available in one day although that might actually be in five hours it's currently 7 p.m um in in the uk and at midnight is when the new day comes so that might be in like five hours our youth academy is as you see maxed out which is pretty damn awesome and then our utilities uh level nine right now a temple for your previous glories must have every football giant attracts toys and generates income uh, i can't upgrade this just yet and i think the reason why i can't upgrade most things um, is because of the stadium, which I am currently upgrading. So the pitch is in good condition. Uh, it's level nine right now. Uh, the lights are also level eight and they are maxed out, which is very nice. The scoreboard, I think the scoreboard is maxed out as well, actually. Yeah, the scoreboard is also maxed out. So as you can see, like I have spent a lot of time on this game. I used to play this all the time. The seats are currently maxed out until I get the new stadium. Um, and uh, we're currently building the new stadium. Four days left. I could speed it up but I don't want to spend the 20 tokens to do so. Uh, so we're not going to. Um, like I say, we have like, we have 1,000, uh, 1,498. I suppose two tokens wouldn't be too bad, um, but uh, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to speed it up right now. We're going to, we're going to leave it as it is for now. So we then take a look at the finances. Now I've got a couple of contracts I just signed. This one was pretty awesome. Uh, the, the OH2 sponsorship. I got $6.6 million for, uh, for two weeks. Bang, straight in. And this one we get a token a day for 28 days. Um, up to 28 tokens. I don't really know what the... Uh, so one token when you sign in. One token every day whether you log in or not. Uh, which is pretty awesome. T, so you can pay three tokens to cancel that, but I don't really want to cancel it. We're fine with that. So our sponsorships are pretty good. Uh, our current balance is pretty good. Our season is minus 28 because I spent money on a player. I just signed a new player, which we'll take a look at in a second. Now, those are the two sponsorships. 
Um, and I, I can't sign well, so yeah, I can't sign these just yet because I need them to obviously run out first. The next sponsorship is there, and then the uh, tickets and bonuses, which we haven't actually done yet, which we can take a look at right now. So, uh, win bonus and ticket prices. Let's set the ticket prices up to five, and a win bonus. Motivate and reward your players for winning a match. Six hundred and twenty-five k. No, we're already like we're actually top of the league anyway. So uh, the Champions League will set the ticket prices nice and high to ten dollars. Um, I'll have to take a look at uh, the cup the same as well. We'll go, we'll go nice and high for the cup. Um, and friendly, uh, yeah, one, one is perfectly okay for the friendly. Um, so uh, into the manager area now. Obviously, you can see my name there, my nationality. The career started on February 2015. So I've been playing this game for nearly two years. I've got no referral progress because the way you have to refer is through Facebook and this is my like private Facebook the account that's connected to this so I don't want to refer like uh, you know I don't even use Facebook anyway but I can't give you guys if you play this I can't give you my private Facebook stuff I hope that I think there's another way to uh to do stuff see how this you could join a football association so I think you can like create i could probably create a football association so we could actually chat through the game which would be pretty good now achievements i've completed 15 things we've got old school which is play top 11 for two years uh level one i guess is one of those year two years uh we've got top dog have 350 wins during your career uh is the next version of top dog of course we completed level three two and one whatever the hell those were so 350 is the next target which means i have 222 current wins under my belt goal machine uh, have your player score 1,000 goals during your career. I'm not sure if this one's complete when it goes to level 5 or if that's, if that's just the end. Uh, we get the mogul, buy and sell 30 players. I've only done that 22 times. Gentlemen, have 200 fair play matches, which we have completed. And true fan, uh, support other managers 50 times, which I've done just once, which is pretty poor. 24-7 um, is play top 11 seven days in a row, which I did because I used to do that all the time. Early retirement is a sack or retiring player. Happy days, done that. Bully is three of your players got booked during a match that you are attending. Done that. And domination is be uh, dominate the opponent during the live match that you've attended. I've done that. So I don't know what these ones are. You don't know what they are until you unlock them. I'm sure you could find out what they are. And our trophy cabinet, win the league, Champions League and Cup in one season is a triple crown. I haven't yet completed that. That's actually really difficult to, to complete now because they've changed the way the cup is seeded. And people use... Uh, youth players to their advantage in that instance. So that's where we're at now. In the previous season, I finished 14th in League 10 because I didn't play that league. Uh, group stage of Champions League because I didn't play again and preliminary stage of the Cup because I didn't play. In season 12, we finished third in League 9 and I actually didn't play League 9 either. I didn't play like the season season 12. Season 11, I don't think I played season 11 either. I can't quite remember if I played this one or not, but we finished sixth in the league, which was enough for promotion. Uh, the previous season, again, sixth, which was good enough for promotion. The previous season, we didn't do anything. The previous season, we finished fourth, which was good enough for promotion. The previous season, 14th place, uh, didn't do too good there. And again, 14th place. But then the season before that, season five, uh, we won the title. And we came, I guess, third in the Champions League, which is pretty damn good. Uh, before that, again, we won the title and we came second in the Cup, which again is pretty damn good. The season before that, we finished fifth. Now I was playing through all these seasons. Uh, League 2, uh, we won, I guess we won the League 2 title there and previously the League, or we came second, sorry, in this one. And then our very first season, we won the Cup. Uh, and then you look at the uh, the overview. So this is my home shirt, my badge and my away shirt. I think it's pretty sick. These are all just like preliminarily bought items. Like I just use tokens to buy them. Uh, my club level is level 10. My stadium capacity is 53,000. And uh, my stadium is called YouTube Arena because I'm really unoriginal when it comes to names. Uh, in my inventory, I've got a few shirts that I created. The premium shirt here, um, which I could use. Uh, we could actually use that as our away kit. That's a pretty, uh, that is a pretty sick kit, not going to lie. Uh, and also this one. Let's use this as our home kit. Let's change our kits up for this season or the remainder of this season. So we've got emblems premium emblem which i i guess i got awarded these for for it for doing things because i i made this one the middle one i bought this premium emblem and i guess this one was uh like i say given to me um i'll keep the one i've got there right now because i quite like it i, li I like it a lot um so yeah we'll use that in we go to associations 
reach level training five to unlock so we can't unlock an association just yet but we will get to level five pretty quick champions league i didn't qualify for the champions league this season and in the cup i do believe i lost in the first round of the cup this time around against fc foggy uh, i didn't play this game wasn't there for it i didn't have tactics or anything um so hopefully next season we'll be able to do better in the cup and the next season is actually quite soon um we played 19 of 26 matches and we're currently top by nine points so i find it highly unlikely that i won't win and the next team that we're playing against is 11th place uh, against FC Cantor. So FC Cantor should be quite easy to beat. Um, my team, as you can see, my team is 72% to his 50.9%. Uh, and what that means is 72 percentages show the club's quality for your club level. So in, in this division, in I think League 10 we're in right now, um, the, like... I'm, I'm, you know, in in the higher echelons of what's what's a good club and 63. This is a club's overall quality value. So my overall quality value and my level are both ahead of my opponent coming up. My average age is a little bit older. My club level is the same. Uh, the founder date is he actually founded his club only less than a month ago and he's already level 10 so he might actually be playing quite big his budget isn't nowhere near as big as mine uh, his stadium is nowhere near as big as mine and uh, his team value his team value is actually really good 188 million team value to my 247 and it just goes to show he's been playing less than a month and this is where he's at and i've been playing for a long long time on and off uh, admittedly but uh, that's where we're at now we look at his squad it looks like he's playing a 4132 he's got oh, jesus christ so many people on bookings. So many people are just one booking away from getting a a, 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 ba a ban, basically. Um, but as you can see, his defense is all three star. His midfield is all three star. He's in fact, his whole team, bar one player, is three star. And in terms of his standings, he's down there in eleventh place. And uh, it's surprising he's that low, considering he seems to be a human-controlled manager. When a lot of these these teams won't be like all the FC teams, like Kuta. Uh, Urfan, Gargano, Thailand FC, they won't be, they're, they're computer control clubs most likely. Um, so FC Cantor, I'm hoping we can take a win against him. And in terms of our fixtures, recently been doing quite well. Uh, we beat, I guess this is a Russian club. We beat them 2-0 uh, literally today at 7.15 apparently. Um, although I don't remember being here for this. To win this match was quite a surprise. We were fairly equal teams on paper. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll take, I'll take the win. The ratings, the MVP there for the left back, very nice indeed. Wow, he's actually got an incredible striker. I've also got an incredible striker, uh, so happy with the result there. Um, before that, we lost two one, we drew two two, we won two one against the team that's currently second. Uh, we won three uh, one, we won one nil and uh, four three and one nil there. And uh, you, you can go all the way back through seasons after seasons after. Uh, I suppose that goes back to week one there. Um, and then you look at friends fixtures. Now I do have a few friends. I've got Spencer FC as a friend and I've got one of my uh, actual real life friends as a friend as well. And there are no matches being played right now. Into transfers. Now like I said, I just signed someone. I don't, I don't like now it's coming towards the end of the season. And I've got a couple of youth players coming in and very soon. I don't really want to sign anyone straight away. And in terms of training, we can actually probably do a training session right now. Let's have a look at the uh, look at the team and see what the fitness levels are like. So we're, yeah, we got, we got good fitness levels and I'll get our next game isn't for five hours. Um, wait, it might even be locked. When's our next game fixture? I think it's at ten past midnight. Yeah, so our next game is in like five hours. So we've got plenty of time to grab, to you know, to get the fitness back. So we'll select, uh, we'll select all the players, and uh, this is how you like kind of define the drill. So you can improve speed, passing, shooting, anticipation, creativity, passing, crossing, finishing, etc. So you can take like, for example, you can select um, just your attack, your striker, and your attacking midfielders. Um, confirm and done and then go select drills and for example you'd what like now that we're doing an attacking drill you can do something that's got like finishing so shooting is here and finishing is here so you do this and easy and a very hard we'll lose five percent conditioning so we'll also do a warm-up which will improve improve the fitness of these guys we'll lose six percent conditioning but we'll improve our strikers quite considerably now it's actually not letting me click done for uh for whatever reason i guess i don't have any training available to me right now uh potentially um let's let's select all again and done uh select drills is it gonna let me click done now does anyone know any like uh, th this was a problem i was having on ipad which is actually why i came onto the uh the pc if you guys still play this 
why why does this happen what what is this doing for me why isn't it letting me do anything because i can do like quick training and do a quick training session i'll arrange a good session for our fit players the players will feel in good shape afterwards um so i can do that and if we look at reports i've had four training sessions today um where we've improved mostly attack some possession some condition two drills each skill drill pass and go shoot uh, all 18 players trained every single time um, so I don't really know right now. And in terms of our bonuses, these bonuses are for in-game. Like, you can actually use them. If you're there for your game, you can use these bonuses. And, like, for example, like, says uh, the higher the condition bonus, the more your players can outpace opposing players with athleticism and fitness. To get this bonus, you need at least eight players selected in a training session. But what happens is when you're playing the game, you can click on this bonus. And I guess it gives them, like, a boost. So it benefits you to be there for the game whilst you're actually playing and then last but not least guys we take a look at the squad now my squad's pretty good uh this is the guy that i just bought m wolf um i bought a center midfielder because i actually want to train him to be a center back because he had i think if i remember correctly he had really good defensive stats um yeah so look at his defense 105 percent tackling 114 percent marking 110 percent positioning 94 percent bravery Average at 100%, which says Max Wolf is a 100% capable defense for your club level. Um, so for me, buying him as a like basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and we're gonna we're gonna hopefully what what's this 50? See this this is where it's in, oh wow it only lets you go down to a DMC. Do I can I go down to a DMC and then down to a, a, a center back? I don't know. So it takes like 50 training sessions, 50 training points will go into him. Um, to help him which is pretty good uh, we don't need a personal trainer for him because he's so good we've just signed him for three years um, and he, he's 18 years old so he's obviously got a good career ahead of him and right now fits not only this league but also the league above in the meantime we can play him uh, in midfield he's a five star above my uh, my dude's four star there um, let's get well, I, like the reason why I bought him because I need centre backs right now as you can see I need defenders in general I only have one spare centre back it would probably make sense for me to play a three back formation right now um, and uh, just have a backup uh, a two backup centre backs and this is that a right back our left back and centre back right so Uraga or, or, or is only a right back so we'll take off Uraga for uh, Matthews no wait for yeah it's gonna have to be Matthews so may, maybe playing fullbacks that would be a horrendous defensive like yeah you'd have to play three at the back like that but we do need to get ourselves some fresh defenders um, center midfields were alright attackers were alright and the spare goalkeeper is more than okay but what we've got is we've got quite an old team uh, two retirees coming in a uh, few 32, 31, 29, 28, 26s. We, we don't have like many young stars coming through, which is a bit of a disappointment. And in terms of value, Wolf there at 25 million, Elliot there at 23 million. And this S. Douglas guy, now my surname is actually Douglas. And this guy um, is just a random gen player. And he's our best player in the team as well. Um, and as you can see, as an attacker, he is just phenomenal. Uh, he's above average for this division, which is obvious. And this season, um, 19 games and 13 goals, which is pretty damn good. Now, I, you used to be able to look at the career of the players. There used to be a tab where you could see the total goals and games. I don't know how to see that anymore. So if you guys know how to see um, like total goals and games over the whole career, uh, let me know. Maybe I can't see that because I didn't log in for the few seasons that he's been at the club. Um, so that's definitely a, a you know a possibility right there. Um, but he's a pretty good player there. Now I do need to go into the transfer market and um, buy my. I, I need a new centre back basically. So uh, how do we set the? Uh, what do we got? So this is a scout. The scouts found found me a whole bunch of players. How old is this guy? Twenty three. Let's have a look at the youngest players that he's got me. Twenty two is the youngest. This is negotiations. How do I search? Is it, there's no like search term? Is there just to? Uh, you used to be able to like click a button and then like filter out players but it doesn't seem like you can do that anymore uh, so we'll go for the roles now we need a center back a four star center back 19 years old not bad at 13 million maybe we'll go for uh, uh abdullah here uh, we were, there's already a bid on him so maybe i don't want to fight with him this g eno guy i'm not interested in uh there's another four star here 25 not really interested in 24 or five stars there's already two people bidding on him as well so i'm not really interested in him too much um 
yeah, we're, we're going to struggle to get a good defense, a good centre back for cheap. And for the rest of the season, because I'm so far ahead, we'll actually, again, we'll, we'll leave it for now and we'll focus on new signings and transfers and stuff at the start of the new season, which will only be in a few days' time, most likely. Um, so once again, looking at the squad, that's where we're at. That's how we're going to play this game. And our, and our team is pretty damn good. And then I think this is the home page. So next match is against FC Cantor away. The previous match I beat him 2-0. Uh, and it says th this match was quite a surprise. We showed great passing skills. One assist for Stuart Douglas. Uh, we made some income. And like what you get is you, you get like the, um, the fitness and morale and stuff for winning games and doing things within the game. So season day 21 out of 28. So a season lost for a month basically. Um, we lost in a preliminary round of the cup. We didn't qualify for the Champions League. However, we will qualify for next season's Champions League because you have to finish in the top four for that. And uh, football associations will create our own one when I get the, the required training level. Uh, in terms of my inbox, a welcome back and a YouTube FC sign Wolf. Uh, notifications are none and friends activity is currently none as well. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with this, guys. Now, I do want to go and do a training session, a uh, quick training Let's do a medium training session for the boys and we'll start condition. Yes, yeah, six, six percent condition is OK for me. Um, they'll get that conditioning back, I believe. Uh, every three hours, I think you get five percent. I believe that's the, the case. So we're going to get one anticipation, two speed on everyone. One percent aggression um, and nothing came from the go pass and go shoot. However, our training level, our training experience points went up by 152 percent. Attenborough gained one aggression. Ampleford won speed, Burrow won speed, and Elliot won anticipation. The rest of the boys didn't get any stat increases. However, um, they obviously got boosts, so they'll be closer to stat increases for the next time that we train. But we got ourselves a whole bunch more uh, training bonuses. We got a 6% attack bonus now. So I'm actually going to come, uh, I'm going to, if I can remember and if I'm still awake, because I haven't been asleep yet since I was uh, jet lagged from uh, coming back from AAs. I'll actually record the live game whilst we're playing. We'll go and do it live and we'll see where it's at. Um, when we go to the physio center, so in 10 minutes, we get 6%. Um, overall team con condition is 90%. Uh, send your team for a massage treatment so their condition is perfect. So that, that will cost 20 of our um, of our things. So th this is actually where like we can abuse. See, if we rest players 6% for eight um, injury things, what are they called? Uh, rests. Eight rests we could rest our players for, which means we actually have the ability to do far more quick training. We could do another hard session or we could do a hard session, drop that 9%, see what happens with it. One speed uh, for one player, two creativity, one passing, one crossing, three finishing. That's what's like what I like to see. We've just boosted our players. This is probably the wrong time to train them as well, like right at the end of the season. But there you go, like, D U, uh, one speed, one crossing, one finishing. Um, there's there's a whole bunch of the dudes here picked up a load of stuff, and we've got a whole bunch of uh, training points, which might take us to level four, which means we're now going to be able to unlock another training um, item, which is good. We get to pick which training item we we want to unlock, so it helps us progress. So we could do a day at the races. You and your team check out the national 100 meter finals. You will learn sprint, fitness plus three attributes. National coach for Congress, a shooting technique, and a use your head technique defensive masterclass. So we're going to go for the shooting technique for sure. Um, and that will now be a usable training session in our, you know, for, for our for our club, basically. So we're there up to level four and a bit now. And now when we go to the physio center, we're 81%. Now we get 6% in eight minutes. And I think it's three hours, like I say, every three hours, which means we'll get before the next game, we'll get another 6%. So we'll be back up at like 93% team fitness um, by the time the new game kicks off, which for me is definitely, definitely okay. Um, so that, guys, is where we're going to end it for today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.